All right. So hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I will invite you to join my channel uh, with subscribing me so that you can see more of this kind of videos. So uh, from this video, we are going to discuss about how can we talk to a website with natural languages. So basically here we will build a chat GPT based chatbot along with Langchain, VectorDBQA and web crawling as well as uh, the Chroma DB. So first I will show a quick demo of what we are after. So this is an overview of what we are going to build. So first, when we get uh, any kind of a website link that we want to build the Q&A bot, we first do the web crawling. Next with the web crawling, we will extract all the website text with the uh, going to various levels of the various sub pages, etc. And then we will do uh, we will forward this text website text into a text splitter and then we will do chunking and with the support of open ai we will extract embeddings for these various text pieces and then we will store those in the vector db which is the chroma db next uh, with the support of lang chain we will be using vector db qa chain and then build a q and a uh, chatbot on top of this so as an example, here we will be uh, building a Q&A bot to Lathrop University's uh, public website. So here there are like several pages and etc. So basically we are going to build a, a chatbot on top of this. So in the notebook, uh, in here, we can do any kind of website. So with that, we just specify the website link so that it will do the web crawling and everything. And afterwards, uh, we just we can simply forward various questions so that the uh, chatbot will ans build answer to our uh, questions. All right, so let's uh, go through the notebook uh, from the beginning. So first of all, uh, we have to mount our Google Drive. So because with the web crawling, we are storing the scroll text in our Google Drive. So we need to uh, access our Google Drive. So we have to mount it. And with this code, we can mount our Google Drive. Next, uh, we have to install these various libraries that are important for us to do uh, build this uh, AI chatbot. So here I will install the OpenAI, Langchain, ChromaDB uh, libraries. And I will also install the beautiful SOAP4 as well as uh, PyTestRat and TestRat OCR. Uh, and I will be also installing the AdWord Tools library. So this AdWord Tools library is the tool that we are using to do the web uh, crawling, basically. So this TestRat and the beautiful SOAP libraries are supporting libraries to the AdWord Tools. And other than that, for the vector DB construction, I will be installing these support libraries, unstructured, popular utils, and TikTok, and etc. All right, so after installing this, I can simply import these libraries. So with Langchain, we need various functionalities to use in our notebook and uh, AdWord tools and etc. We will also be using the Python Pandas library to uh, manage various data frames. All right, so these are the libraries we need to import. Next, we have to specify the OpenAI key. So here you can give your open AI key. Here I have masked it. All right, next, uh, all we need to do is uh, the first step, the web crawling. So the web crawling can take a little bit of time uh, depending on the website. So first we can give uh, the website name here, uh, the URL. So you can uh, give it in the interactive way here in the notebook. So here also you can type the website URL so that will be fetched for, to this parameter. And next we have to call this uh, line. So this is the crawl uh, function in the AdWord tools. So there we have to give the website URL. And so this is a JSON file, which the crawl text will be stored. And also we have to give this follow link uh, equal true. 
parameter so that it will go through the sublinks uh, within the same domain and extract the text as well. Next, uh, so this will basically do the web crawling and it will store the text into this uh, simp.json file. Next, we can use pandas read JSON method to read this JSON file line by line. So basically here we have like bunch of uh, columns, large number of columns with the Android tools with crawling, uh, but we can focus on the various text uh, columns that we are interested of. For example, the body text, this is the most important uh, text uh, column that we are looking forward to. And other than this, we can use a header link text, uh, OG title, title, and various headers as the metadata. So I will be uh, using these all of these. We can simply concatenate all of these together to get a larger text. Other than we can simply uh, go ahead with the body text. So it's uh, basically uh, up to you. You can uh, decide which text columns that we are going ahead with. All right, so this is a simply uh, showing of this uh, what the crawl data look like. So I have used these columns, body text, header link text, OG title, etc. So with this uh, contain all the text that we can use for the, utilize for the uh, question answering. All right, so we have the data frame which has the crawled uh, text now. Next, um, we can uh, use the lag chain document loader and from that, I will be using the data frame loader because we have a, a Python pandas data frame. So we can load the Python uh, pandas data frame using the data frame loader. Then we can give the uh, DF and then the page content column, I will put it as the body text. So the rest will be used as the metadata. Next, I can call the loader or load uh, method to load all these documents. So altogether we have 2,366 documents. So uh, we can also look into some of the document, how these all look like. So for example, in the docs, the, the first uh, document we have is contain the text like this. So uh, it contain all the textual information without any markdown or anything. It has um, uh, cleverly extract all the text from the website. All good. Next uh, step is to chunk these texts so that we can store these in the vector uh, database. So I have set the chunk size to 300 and I have also allowed some chunk overlapping so that we will not miss anything. So here again, uh, if your Q&A bot is not working as expected, you can uh, change these parameters and see how it works. So next uh, with the text splitter, we can convert this into documents. So here after this chunking uh, with 3000 chunk size and overlapping 10, I am getting at the end 6,203 uh, different uh, document chunks. So with this, uh, you cannot simply print this. That's what this tells, but you can store this into Chroma DB. All right, so that's it. So now we have extracted the text from the website, and then we have chunked them. Next, we can, uh, can extract the open AI embeddings and store them in the uh, Chroma DB. So from this, you can create an instance which can extract the embeddings from the open AI. Next, uh, all you need is to initialize the vector DB store. So uh, you can call the chroma dot from documents. Then you can give the uh, chunked documents set. And then afterwards you can give the open AI embedding generator so that this will extract the embeddings and store the along with the uh, chunk text. That's it. So next we can actually call the vector dbq a chain from the lang chain and construct a model. So this model required a large language model. We will be using OpenAI LLM. Next, the, we have to specify the chain type. We have to set it to uh, stuff. And then we have to give the vector DB store uh, we created here. So that's it. Now we have created the vector DBQA. So this can do perform the semantic search 
all we need to do is uh, to call the model dot run with uh, some kind of query. So here I'm asking various questions. So first I'm asking what is Latorb University, and I can uh, run this query with model dot run, and then get the response. So this is the response. Latrobe University is an Australian university located in Victoria, Australia. It offers courses in a range of fields and has an international student population. So likewise, it gives various uh, answers to the questions. So then I was asking why I should choose Latrobe to study. Then it gives various uh, answers. Also, I can ask uh, very specific questions as well. So for example, what is the phone number of the Latrobe uni? So in that case, again, it gives a correct answer. So I'm asking what is the address? Again, it gives the address. And then I'm asking various abbreviations, et cetera, what are the campuses available? So likewise, we can do question answering after we build this uh, model. All right, so basically that is how we can build a AI bot that can do question answering based on a website text. All you need to do is to give specify your website link here so that it will do the web scraping. So these are public websites. It will simply go through these uh, various text in these websites and then it will uh, extract this text. So afterwards we will convert them into a vector DB and then we can uh, do question answering on top of those with the support of Langchain, ChromaDB, and then the semantic search. So you can also try out this with various websites and how it performs. So let me know in the comment section how uh, your bot goes. So you can always uh, change the chunk size, all have been extra to uh, get various uh, accuracy levels. So thank you for watching and see you from the next video.